Hi everyone, it's Daniel McCabe here at GI Energy and today we're talking about the top 10 things to consider before you choose a solar panel for your home or your business solar array. Number one, who is the manufacturer? As you can imagine, globally in the last 10 years, as the solar industry has boomed, there's been a huge amount of different manufacturers from all across the world pop up and lots of them have disappeared. In fact, if you go back around seven years and look at the Clean Energy Council list of accredited solar panel manufacturers here in Australia and compare it to today, you'll find that 83% of them are no longer in business or no longer serving the Australian market. What that means is that a lot of solar panels out there unfortunately no longer have warranties and are starting to fail rapidly. So have a look at who the manufacturer is, check out how long they've been trading for, have a look at how diversified they are. We prefer solar panel manufacturers that don't just make solar panels and that have lots of different revenue streams, which common sense would suggest would mean that they're gonna be around a lot longer to help out with warranties, even if the solar industry is no longer booming in the same way it is today. So have a look at the manufacturer, have a look at their trading history, make sure you're comfortable that they're an established enough organization that's gonna be there with you in the long term. Number two, how long has that manufacturer been selling solar panels into the Australian market? Once you've identified a strong manufacturer that you're comfortable with, it's a good idea to check out how long they've been here for. Do they have an established office here in Australia? And what is that support gonna be like if you really need it? It's no good having a massive Fortune 500 company manufacturing solar panels if they've only been selling into Australia for a year and they're offering 25 year warranties. Let's say they decide to exit the Australian market in three or four years. Are you really going to be that well supported here in Australia or are you going to be trying to contact people overseas to get warranties looked after? That leads us to number three. What is the warranty and is it actually going to be honoured? When you look at solar panel manufacturers and the warranties they're offering, the minimum performance warranty you're going to see is 25 years. Some are offering 30 years performance. There's also a product warranty, which covers the whole product itself, which is the more important warranty. They're always a minimum of 10 years, some are 12, and in fact, a lot are now offering 25, and even some are offering 30 year product warranties. That's a long time. You've really got a question, how many of those manufacturers have the intent and the ability to honor those warranties in such a long period of time? So check out the warranty and check out its credibility. Unfortunately, as mentioned before, a lot of solar panel manufacturers across the world have either gone out of business or exited from the Australian marketplace. A lot of those have been writing 25 and 30 year warranties, which now, unfortunately, for the people that have purchased those panels, those warranties are not worth the paper that they're written on. Number four, what's going to fit on your roof? Solar panels are all slightly different dimensions these days and they are also slightly different power classes, which means that the amount of energy a panel can produce is slightly different depending on the brand that you choose. You'll notice that you might have a 450 watt panel, you could also have a 370 watt panel. That doesn't necessarily mean that the 450 watt panel is going to be a better fit for your roof and you're going to be able to fit more of them on the roof because typically a bigger panel in terms of the wattage is also gonna be a bigger panel in terms of the physical dimensions of the panel. So don't be fooled by a really high power class panel and think that that's necessarily a much more efficient panel. It could just be that it's physically bigger. So the power class of the panel is gonna be important, but be aware of the physical dimensions of the panel and make sure that you're choosing one that's gonna fit on your roof, especially for homeowners with tight roof areas. Some of those newer, larger panels are just simply not gonna fit on your roof into the screw lines in the roof or fit side by side on a roof with enough space to meet current standards for installs. Number five, the efficiency of the solar panel. This links in with number four. As I mentioned, you could have a 450 watt panel with a lower efficiency rating than a 370 watt panel. 
Basically, the efficiency rating of a panel is wattage divided by meters squared. It simply means how much energy can that panel produce within the space that it uses up on your roof. If you want a really high efficiency panel, meaning it's gonna take up less room on your roof, you're gonna pay a little bit more for it. You may or may not need that depending on your roof area. So once you've checked out your roof and what's available, the efficiency of the solar panel may or may not be that important to you. It's certainly not as big a selling point as what some solar manufacturers and solar retailers make it out to be. If you have the roof space available, you will not necessarily need a really, really high efficiency panel. And if you have the roof area available, a 10 kilowatt system with a, a panel efficiency of 20% doesn't mean it's gonna produce more than a 10 kilowatt system with a panel efficiency of 19%. It just means that this one with the slightly lower efficiency rating is gonna take up a little bit more room on your roof. Number six is technical data and reviews. I'm not gonna go into all the different intricate technical information on this video because honestly, we'll be here all day and you'll probably be bored to death. However, if you're really interested in all the tech data, grab some data sheets from our website or from another resource and check those out. However, the reviews is something that's a lot more easier for you to do. So have a look at the reviews and have a look at the source of those reviews. Unfortunately, in Australia, there's lots of solar experts around that are posting reviews or opinions on certain solar panels that frankly are either biased to suit their outcomes or are coming from people that really aren't credible or uh, experienced enough to be offering those opinions. So reviews are important, but checking the source of the reviews are equally as important. So make sure that the information you're reading is really credible and it's not just someone trying to sell you something. Number seven is price. Of course, price is always important. As I mentioned before, if you want a really high efficiency solar panel, you're gonna pay a bit more for it. If you want a panel from a really, really good brand with a really diversified backing, then you're gonna pay a bit more for it. That being said, if you go and choose a solar panel purely based on price and you look for the cheapest solar panel out there, you're almost certainly gonna regret it. The fact is, solar panel manufacturers that are just purely trying to drive down cost and offer the cheapest panel out there are always gonna to have to cut corners to get there. Often their warranties won't be as credible as the more established brands. And unfortunately, that's why we have that horrible statistic of 83% of solar panel manufacturers from seven years ago no longer being here in Australia to support warranties. So we understand that budget is always a consideration you definitely don't need to buy the most expensive solar panel on the market. In fact, it's pretty rare that we install the most expensive brands, but finding that sweet spot between price, quality, and the fact that the warranties are actually gonna be honored is really, really important. Number eight is, where is that solar panel made? Now, depending on your personal preferences, this may be more or less important to you. The simple fact is the vast majority of solar panels are now made in China. You can purchase panels from Singapore, you can purchase panels that are manufactured in America, you can purchase solar panels that are manufactured in Korea, and there is actually a brand of solar panels manufactured here in Australia too. However, the Chinese panels do still own that market, the majority of that market, and that isn't necessarily a bad thing. You can buy some really, really good quality brands from China, and of course you can buy some really cheap and nasty ones. So follow the tips throughout this video to make sure that if whichever panel manufacturer you are purchasing from is credible, is gonna honor warranties, the panels get the right reviews, they have the right technical data, but also for your own consideration, if you don't wanna buy a Chinese brand, there are other options out there for you. So have a look where it's made. Don't be fooled by some of the names of solar panels without mentioning them specifically. There are some out there that will call themselves a brand name that alludes to the fact that they're made in Germany, for example, whereas in the real world, they're actually not, they're a Chinese brand. So just have a real good look into it and make sure that you're buying what you think you are. Number nine, we wanna make sure that the solar panel that you're installing is on the Clean Energy Council list of accredited solar panels. Here in Australia, for solar systems installed that are zero up to 100 kilowatts in size, you will be able to claim what's called Small Scale Technology Certificates, or STCs. However, the solar panel that you install needs to be on that list of accredited solar panels in order for you to be able to claim those STCs. 
the STCs represent a value of between around $2,000 up to about $45,000 depending on the size of the system. The solar company that you're talking to should be doing this for you and they should only be offering solar panels that are on that list. However, over the last decade, we have seen on numerous occasions solar panel manufacturers that have allowed their panels to fall from that list. They've then still been installed and people have had issues with STCs trying to be reclaimed and just hassles for customers that really shouldn't be there. So ask your solar retailer to show you that they're on that list of Clean Energy Council accredited solar panels so that you know you're not going to have any issues in the future with STCs trying to be reclaimed. Number 10, who is going to install those solar panels for you? It's all very well doing your research, finding the perfect fit for your roof, allowing for the right budget for the right solar panel for you. But if somebody's going to come along and do a poor job of your installation, then all of that good work goes out the window. It is no point in having a solar system installed with the best solar panel in the world and the worst workmanship. The two have to go hand in hand. So do your research on the people that are gonna install that system for you and make sure that they're installing it properly, they have a good track record, and they're gonna be there to help you out if you ever need anything in the future. Thanks for watching guys. I hope these tips have been helpful for you. There's an abundance more information on our website if you'd like to read individual reviews for solar panels. Hopefully this has been helpful and hopefully we'll hear from you soon.